Hey chess friends, I know you want to improve your chess tactics and vision, that's why you clicked on my video. Don't worry, chess is all about intelligence, in order to improve your chess, you must observe chess grandmasters and chess computer games, you have to take a deep drive into chess game, memorize chess moves and implement it on your chess games through practice and hard work. Here I will teach you chess strategies and tactics from Mikhail Tal's game, I mean, yeah, if he lived today he might defeat super grandmasters like Hikaru and Carlson, Botnik starts with c4, English opening, knight here, knight f3, Tal could play standard opening like this, but he chooses to play g6, ok, we have g3, bishop g7 by Tal, bishop to g2, we have castle, d4, d6 by Mikhail Tal, knight comes to c3, Tal could play c6, or bishop c5, but he played knight bf7, ok castle, here Tal played e5, we have e4, c6 by black, h3, queen goes to b6, Tal is threatening the pawn, d4 pawn is a key pawn, if the d4 pawn gone then the e, c pawn will be weak, d pawn bonds the e d c pawn chain, so, he pushed his pawn, c captured, c captured d5, knight to c5, threatening the pawn, he rotates his knight to support the e4 pawn, and he wants to exchange the knight, bishop on d7, knight here, knight takes, queen takes knight, Tal can play knight here, then f5, takes, then g takes, this position is stable position, no issues with king structure. But here Tal played rook c8, I think he had a line type mind, I would not suggest you to play rook fc8, play queen side rook on queen side, we have rook b1, I mean Tal could play normal looking moves like this, but here Tal played knight h5, which is inaccuracy according to me, because the knight have no future there, I mean f5 is not possible now, because rook is not there and black have stable structure and bishop, pair, so Botnik developed his bishop, queen up to b4, queen here, Tal says. Stockfish you haven't seen my crazy mind, face rook c4, wow, what do you want Tal, rook sacrifice or rook battery huh, or f5. Ah let me play rook c1, I will play bishop here or a3, try to chase Tal pieces, Tal played rook a c8, Botnik could play like this, bishop or a3, he chooses to play king h2, what the hack, why do you, ok, now Tal get a chance to play f5, because he is on second rank, Tal played bishop takes, threatening the rook, rook a1, in this position, what will you play? Knight back to f6. But it's not bring any good advantages for black, game will continue naturally. Here Tal played brilliant move knight to f4, targeting this and this, white takes the knight, pawn takes f4, targeting the bishop, but where will the bishop go? Every square is protected by somebody including a7, if you think bishop takes a7, then queen here, and the bishop will be trapped. Ok, in this position, if you try to think a3, try to kicking out the queen first, a3, then queen here, bishop takes a7, bishop here, threatening f3, discover attack with a bishop check. So f3 by white, b6 by black, and the bishop will be trapped like previous variation, so, he back his bishop, we have queen takes b2, pressuring on this knight with 4 pieces, he attacks the queen with rook, but it's targeted by the bishop, right, if bishop takes rook happen, then rook takes, queen slides, and the game will continue like this, black have a rook for 2 pieces. But in game, Tal played f3, saying if you take my queen then I will take yours, bishop takes pawn is best move, then bishop takes, black will get rook for 2 pieces. But Botnik played blunder rook takes queen, because Tal is a stockfish subscriber, Botnik fears it, that's why he made wrong move, Tal captured the queen, it is second rank queen, one move away from promotion, the knight can't take it, so, rook b3, rook to d4, targeting this, bishop backs, bishop e5 check, king back to g8, Tal could play rook takes c3, let me show it, rook takes rook, then rook to d8, threatening the rook, rook slides, bishop e2, threatening the rook, the rook have no square to run. And black, could win the game this way. But in this position, Tal chooses to play bishop to f4, threatening the rook, if you move your rook, 
the rook takes knight, rook takes, rook to d1, rook takes, then pawn takes rook, and game will be over. So, in this position we have knight takes pawn, rook takes rook, if knight takes c1, then rook d1, white will feel pressure on this. So, white played knight takes d4, rook takes check, bishop blocks. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching, subscribe for more, bye bye, take care, see you in my next video.